thank uh, and cross reference. Here we go. I've got the data ready. Oh, and don't forget to start producing that um uh, that serotonin injection and in uh, that serotonin solution in mass uh, levels. I want to have this ready, but um by the time I uh, I want to have this ready to test on uh, the next specimen coming in. Affirmative. They are ready to go. Thank you. Okay. So while Beatrice is getting the uh, while Beatrice is getting the samples ready and simplified for ejection, I'm headed off to um, I'm headed off to find a specimen. You'll be hearing more uh, uh, log entries from me later on. Beatrice, I want you to keep the motion sensor cameras on the car active um, and st and keep recording all my uh, activity of attempting to uh, and keep recording my activity from uh, attempting to get a hold of these uh, zombies. I want to make sure that the when I get a hold of the class ones, uh, I want to make sure I want. Uh, I want their performance and uh, their movement style documented as well, so this way I can improve my strategy for how to better capture them next time. All right. Affirmative. Okay. This is the end of video log entry number one for January 29th, 2025. I will be posting a second entry when I get back. Uh, to assess the results of the way that the class ones are currently um, exhibiting their behavior in the field. This is Dr. Samuel Jeffries' video log, entry number two for January 29th, 2025. I currently have uh, the traps set up and uh, security cameras going, so all the tasers are ready. So as soon as the uh, one of the zombies bites into the bait, all I have to do is hit the enter key here. Um, and uh, remotely from my laptop, the entire, um, uh, whatever, um, well, zombie knocked out, new specimen to test on. Oh, here's one now. Observe, if you will, ladies and gentlemen, the class one zombie. So stupid, it will chow down on anything it sees. They seem to like uh, human flesh for some odd reason, though. You'd think, still being alive, they would prefer to chow down on anything. But I guess their fight or flight reaction is so good, is so good that their uh, animal instincts are in, so they'll chow down on any meat they can get their hands on. Unfortunately, as this one was tasered uh, a little too high, it broke into a seizure and died. So now I don't have a live specimen to test on this week. No matter, might as well get some hair and blood, draw, draw some hair, sa saliva, and blood samples back for the, uh, bring them back to a lab for analysis. <laughs> Sword not hurt I, nothing hurt I, immortal me am. Ah, a reasoner, perfect. Just what I needed. <sighs> this is Dr. Samuel Jeffries' video log entry number three for January 29th, 2025. I just got back from trying to handle a couple of zombies, class one. The first one, unfortunately, died of a seizure when I tried to taser him. The second of which is now currently held captive in the other uh, over in my laboratory. These ones are starting to get worse off. Um, I believe that previously they've been injured. Excuse me, Dr. Jeffries. I don't mean to interrupt, but your new specimen is fighting against his restraints in the lab. Should I sedate him? Might not be a bad idea, Beatrice. See to it. It's done. Thank you, Beatrice. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. As I was saying, um, basically the... Uh, um, as I was saying, uh, what, what's going on here is that we're dealing with, once again, the um, problem that these particular um, uh, zombies are unfortunately seeming to be um, jumping at everything that moves. Um, if you review the uh, uh, footage from the security cameras, 
you'll determine that we had a um, another uh, reasoner uh, attempt to attack me. Um, both the previous zombies, the one who got tasered and the one who uh, the one who is now currently in the lab, uh, having been stunned, uh, both uh, suffered previous head injuries. Now, what this seems to suggest is that whatever the um, now, uh, but whatever seems to be interesting is that in both the cases, the uh, the injuries seem to be to the frontal lobes. Now, what's interesting is that with the reasoner, the only uh, real deficit that seems to be happening with him is the fact that his um, capabilities for proper um, speech seem to be slightly impaired. Uh, for example, his front, um, the uh, for example uh, his concepts of basic um, his his. Uh, Concepts of sentence order, um, his concepts of sentence order, sentence structure, and uh, tense, uh, particularly in, in, uh, chan in uh, uh, form of personal pronoun, and uh, 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 you know, in terms of personal pronoun and etc., um, do seem to be strongly affected. However, the fact that he can construct a simple sentence and that his Wernicke's area, uh, that his brokers in Wernicke's areas have not seemed to be uh, radically affected, seem to suggest that he is capable of reasoned thought, albeit that his logic centers do seem to be impaired. Um, perhaps removal of the uh, perhaps removal of the spike currently in his frontal lobe might allow for the stem cells to regenerate it, and possibly that he might even develop full consciousness again. Anyway, that having been said, oh. That's odd. What are these guys? Those are the old virtual reality glasses you used to program my basic sentience during your master's thesis. I have since improved upon them. Put them on. Okay, sure. Um, just... Yeah, just give me a check to uh, check the serotonin data first. Um... Da, da, da. Anyway, hopefully that serotonin injection should be working fairly soon on this guy. We're going to see if... Uh, that may, um, if the specimen test may actually work on him. Ow! Jesus, where was that headache from? That was the improvement. The glasses have micro EEG readers built in. A minor EMP is sent through your brain, and after the brain settles, your entire memory at that moment, brain wave activity, and everything that you have gone through up until then is recorded. Use this on your specimen to determine how he has been living and what he has been thinking. There may be some clue in his memory which might help you find the cure. Uh, thanks, Beatrice. I don't know what I'd do without you. You would have considerable difficulty. Does the specimen have to be conscious for this to work? It would be advisable. Okay, on we go then. Uh, end of video log entry number three. Um, I'm going to head to the lab and uh, give these guys a tryout on the new specimen. With any luck, our reasoner uh, just may be able to uh, give us a clue into his memory as to uh, what allowed him to resist the um, what allowed him to resist the uh, hyperadrenal um, the hyperadrenal buildup that has affected uh, so many uh, that has affected all the other class ones. And I'm hoping that um, we'll be able to uh, solve those uh, major problems. Oh. Um, Beatrice, uh, while we're at it, um, do me a favor and uh, do your regular upload. Um, do your regular upload and checks uh, with the other servers for the possible human uh, survival settlements. I want to make sure that uh, we still at least have um, a possibility that in other areas there are some pockets of humanity left surviving. Check the net, check the satellites, uh, check the GPS, check for any human activity. Um, like I said, the um, you know any any. Uh, human response, any live contact would be advisable at this time. I need the help in trying to solve this cure, and frankly, I'm getting damn lonely uh, being uh, the only human uh, left around that isn't uh, completely uh, turned into a mindless uh, into a mindless animal. Okay. Okay, that's the end of, uh, of uh, uh, video entry number three. I'm headed to the lab to see if uh, there's anything more that can be done with the current specimen. Ah, good, you're awake. Where, where am I? You're in my lab. You, uh, like I said, you suffered a nasty taser blow. The uh, bottom line of what happened here 